So a pro-Palestinian student group hosted an event Saturday comparing Palestinian liberation to black American liberation. That's intersectionality for you. Let's erase and collapse context, history, and all of that nonsense, because all we need is oppressor and oppressed. But perhaps a bit more concerning is that the students at this event apparently read something written by an officer of a designated terrorist group. Let's take a look. Temple University's Students for Justice in Palestine chapter looks like a pretty diverse bunch. And I know you're thinking that diversity is typically code for anti-white these days, but it looks like these students do support diversity of ideas, or rather, one specific idea to be exact, terrorism. You see, Temple's SJP chapter hosted an event called Palestine and Black America, a strategy for liberation. And I guess I'm not sure what the message is behind that title. You want a separate Palestinian state, does that mean you also want a black American ethno state? Sounds pretty racist to me. Around 50 individuals apparently attended and read from Black Panther Party founder Huey P. Newton, as well as Ahmad Sadat, who's the Secretary General for the Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, or PFLP. You know, just the same PFLP that the US lists as a terrorist group. The same PFLP that murdered more than 100 individuals, including children, with suicide bombers during the Second Intifada. The same PFLP that killed five Jewish synagogue worshippers and a police officer in 2014. And the same PFLP that has been doing these things for a little while now, slaughtering over two dozen people at an airport as far back as 1972. Woo lad, talk about bad optics. And you don't have to go too far into Temple SJP's history to find other absurdities. Someone apparently wrote the n-word and drew a swastika on a car at the campus a couple years ago, and Temple SJP called it an act of terror against black Temple students, but suspiciously didn't express the same sentiment for Jewish students. The group was also, of course, a big fan of freeing a head to Mimi, the Palestinian girl who was detained and recently released after punching kicking and slapping Israeli soldiers. And a few years ago, a guy tabling for Temple SJP reportedly punched a student in the face after the student wanted to have a conversation about Israel. And it doesn't look like the lunacy stops with the kids at Temple either. I remember a couple of years ago when one of their professors visited my alma mater, the University of Virginia, and argued against listing people's sex on official documents, saying that people can reject binary sex altogether and identify as both male and female. Because, you know, everything is just a social construct. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshaw. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.